once again, my name is Russell Smith. I'm the technology facilitator for Carpenter Elementary, as well as Creek Wave Arena High School. And this week, I'm back with another tech tidbit. Uh, this time, I want to show you a really cool and simple to use um, stop motion animator tool that's um, hosted by Mozilla and is was created by Papra Animation. It's called actually called Papra Animation, and the website is P A R A P A R A dash e d i t o r dot m o z l a b s dot j p slash sandbox. That's a long website, but I'm going to go ahead and post that here in the video, so you can now uh, go to that. It should also be in the notes of this uh, video, so you can go to it directly. Uh, what it is, it's a very simple uh, stop motion animation tool. It allows you to create uh, one slide at a time, and you can uh, draw. It's, it, it looks similar to like a very simple uh, whiteboard application. You have different uh, colors of uh, pen digital pencils to use, an eraser tool, and you can choose the shape of your or the size of your eraser. And you have a play button. It's very simple. It doesn't cost anything to sign up. Um, and you don't have to create an account or anything. You just go ahead and just use it. So let me just show you very briefly how it works. At the top of the screen, you see uh, each frame of your sequence. So what it does is, I'm going to choose my color of crayon. I'm going to draw a picture. Now, you can either use a mouse or you can use the touchpad on your uh, laptop if you have one. There are no other um, shapes or anything that you can insert into the drawing. So for example, as you see, I made a mistake there, so I can choose the eraser and fix my mistake. Or I can wipe everything clean. I'm going to choose the color of my pencil. You can use so you can either use the, the touchpad to draw or use the mouse to draw. This is a very simple way to draw. I just wanted to demonstrate. So here's my first frame. To create my next frame, I click the plus button. And you can see the you can see the outline of the previous frame. So that gives you an idea of what you drew before. Then click the plus button for a new frame. So in this case, I'm creating a very simple animation. Now that I've created my five frames, I can click the play button to see how it's animated. So as you can see, it shows each frame and my figure is jumping across the screen with my dad and he's very happy about it. And then when I'm done, I can click OK after I'm previewing it. I can add a title. I click Send. And the animation has been sent. And then I can share the animation. So this is where I would type in the, um, the email address of whoever I want to send it to. Case I'm going to, I can send it to my email address for Wake County. It also creates a link that you can you can copy and paste. Copy. Open it up in a separate link. There's my animation right there. And I can also the QR code. I can scan the QR code for others to view the animation. There's one more thing I want to mention. Um, after you send the link to someone else to view your animation, um, not only you don't have to view it in just this, you can also embed it. 
into a website or your 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 class website or a blog or something like that. All you have to do is copy the embed code that's shown at the bottom of the screen and paste it. I'm going to paste it into this web page here. Click publish. You go to my live site. And there's my uh, embedded animation that I created with the, pa the para para animation tool right there. I think that's pretty cool. So the other question uh, you might have is, okay, that's great. It's an animation tool, but what can I possibly use this for, for educational purposes? My answer would be you can have students uh, create a very simple um, animated uh, diagram of uh, a process that you might have. Um, for example, you might use it in science. I'm going to switch on over here to this uh, page here that I all created separately uh, previously before I started recording. And it shows, it, you can see each frame shows a different part of, this, of the photosynthesis process for science. So you could have students um, create a simple animation for the for uh, a process or something like that. So as I click the play button, you can see the animation process. It's not perfect. You can see some mistakes that I made when I was creating it. Um, you can also see that it goes pretty quickly. So although it does uh, loop over and over again, so you can see the stages as it, as it goes. So it depends on what how you want to use it. Um, if you want to use it for showing uh, steps in a process or something like that but this shows you um, how you can create use this for educational as an educational uh, application and when I click OK I can enter a title you click send and this sends it to the uh, the para para uh, site and then when I, when I copy that link and go to a separate tab to view it, I, there's my animated uh, picture. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This is uh, Russell Smith, Technology Facilitator, and I'll be back um, soon with another tech tidbit.